Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, and Update 022 is here for Kerbal Space Program, and that means the Career Mode button is no longer grayed out. I can play it, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video today. So we're going to be starting from scratch, but yeah, here we go. The Kerbal Space Center has changed significantly, mainly the research and development area, and we're going to be jumping right into this right away as you start off with bare bones parts here, command pod, liquid engine, solid boosters. Uh, FLT-200 fuel tank. Uh, communicatron, which is going to be very important. A parachute, which for some reason doesn't have an icon there, but this is still a alpha, beta, whatever. But yeah, uh, what this boils down to is that you there's no economy portion for the update yet. That's part of crew mode that's not there, but the research and science development tree is there. And that's what this focus, and that's what the series is going to be focusing on with that primarily. Now it is possible to fill out your tech tree super fast. Or what I'm going to try and show here first is just how you can get some early boost and possibly working with your tech. Now to start with I'm just putting a command pod out here because you can get a quick crew report right there that's 1.5 science value not a ton here. But how this tends to work is that A you can EVA to just go around and observe things, you can right click and you can take an EVA report that says, do I really need a spacesuit to be here? That's uh, 2.4 science value. I can take a surface sample. It says the surface is charred and coated with burnt rocket propellant. There's also trace amounts of conspicuous green substance. Yeah, that's pleasant. But there we go. Now that I have a soil sample and everything, I can just pop right back in here. It is entirely possible well, if I could EVA right, and I'm not. <laughs> right now but all you gotta do is board I'm on the command pod and recover vessel right away look at that recover the vessel don't even have to go to the uh, little satellite dish area anymore but right away 12 science with just a few bits of seconds of work and you can use that 12 science to unlock the first part of the tech tree and open up some different areas for here so I've unlocked basic rocketry to go with just start because how hard can rocket science be my next options are general rocketry stability and survivability. I do want to get survivability and stability because I really want radial decouplers. I really want extra parachutes and I love me the LV-909. So that's going to be my next goals. Plus if you go for survivability uh, you get some other stuff that really help your ship pretty soon. Well landing struts are also very important. So survivability because you want your Kerbals believe it or not to survive. But what I'm going to be doing here today is pretty much designing a ship straight up for a first mission and this is going to be a very basic ship it is not intended to go into orbit at all so what that means is it's going to be pretty similar design from the last series of videos I had where it is no rate except without radial decouplers but yeah just gotta work fix the staging real quick get this up here um, yeah because guess what I almost didn't put on there? A parachute. And we do want a parachute there. Now there's some other things that we do want on here as well. As you can see right away, doing that first quick little trip outside unlocks immediately. You already have the communication array, which is very important and very different from the original sandbox mode. But you also get the Myster Mystery Goo trademark containment unit which is something that came out of the dumpster and I'm putting two here partially for balance purposes partially because I can run multiple experiments with these and even though the ship is not going to survive re-entry all this stuff's going to break except for the command pod uh, it's a good habit to be in just because you can take if you're in different altitudes you get different results if you're in different areas different environments you'll get different results from these and all of those give science so we're going to be going with our uh, scholar and gentleman, Jeb Jebediah Kerman. How could I get that name wrong by now? And I do believe all of my ship is in order. Very simple, basic mission here. As once again, I can do just a quick observation from the ground if I really want to here. And you're going to see right away, electrical charge. If I do it like this, already my SAS or my onboard here is having my stability issues. I can transfer that right away. I only get 40% of it. But it's better to do that now than later. And like I said before, this ship is just designed to get into a little bit of space. I don't even have enough energy to go where I need to go. But this is where pretty much my goal is to get into a little bit of space. Fortunately, my engine will recharge my electrical charge. 
for too long. Let's get a crew report going. Watch the waves roll off the coast. Pretty sure that I'm going to hold on to that for just a little bit and we're already getting to about time to normally where I'd love to detach these but instead we're just going to be recharging and you can see right away I'm having some control issues and we're just going to be clicking again here there is a lot more interaction <laughs> with this now so you're not going to be seeing as much of me just uh, playing with this a little bit so review, review crew report and let's transmit the data if it's from your command pod you get a hundred percent so that's extra science right there and there is diminishing returns on it but pretty much my goal here today is just to get to about a hundred thousand orbit do a few more experiments and then get Jebediah back on the planet so let's see here observe the mystery goo anything different up here it's getting very cool I can go ahead and do that for free crew report from the upper atmosphere I can do that for free because once again my engine is recharging the power here every time so we gotta wait for the other transmission to be sent though alright so just waiting for uh oh ran out of electric charge so almost had it can't totally send it so not gonna be getting total observations from space or anything but right now what does my app lapses look like? About 133. Should be good enough. Now, if we observe the mystery goo from here, you'll see that it's getting very cold. Let's ditch that data. We want to get higher. We want to get actually into space, into where I can hard accelerate here. But the other thing is that you can actually EVA while up here and have Jebediah be ballsy uh, from space over the water. Keep that data. And we're just going to board. And that gets saved into your ship, which is pretty awesome. Now, if you try and do the same things more than once, you're not going to get a lot going on. So, uh, pretty much that is some extra data that will help me out a little bit later. A little irritating that you're out of fuel this early, but it is just supposed to be the first mission for your space program. So, not too bad here. Let's see here. So, different goo observations. Not going to be able to send it out, but this it seems to be turning into a sphere and getting a little bit brittle. So, once again, because I don't have enough fuel to kick this, get this started, and keep it going, I'm expecting ever all of this except for the command pod to break down on splashdown because this is very much going to be a splash landing. I don't even have landing struts, so not too much I can do there. And I just want to see now that we're at the higher arc of the atmosphere is there a different observation I can make nah it does not look like it so once we go back in if I have the same thing if I have the same report multiple times it's just gonna say uh, board anyway dump the experiments and you do get different observations based on if you're above land if you're above uh, sea if you're even if you're above like mountains or desert which is pretty nice but right now I can't accelerate while throttled up. In fact, there's not too much more for me to do here on this mission until I land. So we're just going to go and say, we were really excited to be in space. Now I'm pretty sure that if Jeb EVA is right here, he's not going to be going over the right part of land. We're going to give it a shot. Because we already have the music change, and I do not want him to detach. That happened while testing in the upper atmosphere. You should really get back on your ship. That's damn right you should. We're not going to be a... Uh, and see, we get to keep that EVA report for there, too. Yeah, we're not going to be a Doctor Strange loving this today. Now, I still have a little bit of electricity here, and we're going to be doing that to at least keep here. But otherwise, this is a standard flight and splash down for whatever it's worth just gotta hope that my ship stays intact and that Jeb survives because if he survives we have good rewards waiting for us here at least for a more viable rocket but for now we do get the fire and if I were to EVA right now which is what I did testing this out before Jeb will fly I don't have a lot of EVA experience but he will actually fly away and right now my uh SAS is doing no, no favors whatsoever. My ship is pointing towards the sea. 
there's it looks like there are some physics things that are changing just a little bit apparently uh, aerodynamic nose cones do something now whereas before they were just cosmetic and the same thing as parachute nose cones which by the way we should probably stage since we're under a few thousand feet hopefully the torque does not destroy my ship it shouldn't but it is going to take a little bit if i did that closer to say the 500 place which by the way if you didn't know go to cockpit view you can see a radar altitude on the bottom right which will tell you how far you are from the actual surface doesn't matter as much because we're over water but is very important on other planets other surfaces other places still don't have enough electrical charge to send things because this communication array takes a ton of electricity and for now there's not a lot i can do but that'll change in the not too distant future but all we're going to do here is just splash down should survive pretty well assuming my parachute is deployed there we go just in time is like it's 500 meters so we're just going to do a hard time accelerate until we get closer to the surface because yeah just trying to get through the video a little bit because i want to show you all a few different things here so explosion ship dies my little experiments are floating around but jeb's still alive i can't even select them anymore so I'll have to get those datas again some other time. That's why I was transmitting some of those experiments. But let's go ahead and just, okay, we're out of the water right now. I don't even know for sure if I can get back in the capsule, but we can do an EVA report from here and hold on to it and get some signs. More importantly is that Jeb can take a surface sample of the water. And if you notice, water dramatically increases the humidity of anything it touches. Yeah, it tends to do that. But right away, can I actually get back on my command pod? I do not think I can. Maybe he can roll it over. Uh, he can't dive. But if he didn't notice before, let's see here. I don't think he's going to be able to get back in. Now, you can recover your vessel typically like this. I do really like the recover vessel button. But notice you're recovering Jebediah Kerman. That's 15.2 science earned on this mission. But even with that vessel that's left behind, it did splash down. It does have some data there. Untitled spacecraft. I didn't even name you? That's too bad. First flight didn't even have a name. This is a re-recording from an unacceptable video quality before from another video. But we're going to recover it and look at that. 59 science. I got a suborbital flight. EVA from upper atmosphere. EVA from over Kerbin's water. So I didn't get an EVA report while launching, because that's asking for death. But I do have 59 total science, and you do have to pay just flat science. Later on, presumably, you'll be able to individually unlock some pieces if you want to with money, however that comes. And that's really going to do a good job of limiting what you can do. But for now, you can pretty much build the biggest, bloatiest things that you want to here. And see, now that I have a decoupler, and now that I have parachutes and tiny engine, I'm going to at least be able to orbit. Now technically with the landing struts, I do have the pieces necessary to say do a moon or minmus mission, which is how some people slingshot really far into the place fast. Technically I've only done one flight. I can unlock most of the tech tree in two. Not necessarily all of it, but most of it. If getting, if EVAing around the spaceport doesn't count as one flight in of itself without being able to get back in. But my next goal is going to be to get science tech because batteries, as you've already seen, are super, super, super needed. And on top of that, the SC9001 uh, Science Junior, anything you can do to ramp up your science intake is great. Comms, I'm not entirely sure what the value of that is. But otherwise, there's some other parts here that are pretty good. Struts are a little ways in general construction, so I could be going for struts as well. But at least for now... That's it. The last, there's one more thing I want to show, though, and that is just the uh, sub assembly here. Let me just load my poor unnamed spacecraft here, which we'll just call the nameless. Now, I can't drop the command pod in here, but sub assembly is nice. So I can drop it right in here and just call it, and just call this tiny ship back from first mission. And pretty much any time I want to use this portion of the ship, all I have to do is just pop it out, and it's straight back there. 
I can get two of them, three of them, five of them, however many. So perfectly implemented, works like a charm. It's great. But yeah, in the future here, I am going to be designing a rocket to do a little bit more. We're going to be kind of trying to keep within budget constraints like before, but the main goal here, at least at first, is building up science so we can explore further into the stars because I don't just want to have a repeat of, hey, let me do all the exact same missions I did before. Again, so this is Way to Fail with Carbal Space Program 2.2 Update. Hope you all enjoy it. You're going to be seeing more of this in the future, so get used to it. Yeah, it's a good game. You should pick it up. See you next time.